Hello, welcome to Children's Liturgy of the Word. This is the fourth Sunday of Ordinary Time. Let us begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord God, may we hear your wondrous deeds with open hearts. May we reflect on, the, on these scriptures and be inspired to go out and do your will. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Then they came to Capernaum, and on the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know you, who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, what is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout Galilee, the whole region of Galilee. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Today, Mark tells us about the stories of Jesus caring for those who suffer in mind and in body. Before Jesus began healing people, Jesus first taught them about God. Why did he do that? He wanted people to know that all healing comes from God. So last week, we heard how Jesus gathered his first disciples at the Sea of Galilee. This week, they traveled to Capernaum and it is the Sabbath, which is the holy day that the Jews went to the synagogue. That is where Jesus read the word of God and then taught the word of God. But he did it, and afterward the people really believed. It was almost like the first time they had heard the word of God. And this is because Jesus taught it and said it with such authority. And we know that authority comes from God. Not only did Jesus preach, but he showed the people how much God loved them by healing signs, like, is, like as in today's story, when Jesus cured what was making the man ill. From that moment on, stories about the power of Jesus began to spread throughout the whole land, and people were very curious to know more about Jesus and wanted to hear what he had to say about God and his kingdom. This was the beginning of a lot of hard work and long days and nights for Jesus as he went around and preached and healed those who needed God's healing words and actions. Jesus knew he would have to rely on God for help and also help from his disciples. And this is how we should live our life as well. Do we have free will? Yes, we do. God gave us free will meaning we get to make choices. And sometimes when we're making choices in life, hopefully good choices, but sometimes we don't make good choices, like we are rude or mean. And so this is when we need to rely on God for help and ask God to help us make the best choices to help others, to help those who are suffering or who just need maybe a friend to talk to. But this is when we rely on God and we rely on others to help us, like Jesus relied on God and his disciples. And in this way, we are doing God's work. Let us close in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, help us be willing to do your work here on earth. Help us to help others that are in need or those who are suffering. Help us be good disciples this week and always, and help us always to remember that your word is the authority. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pray that you all have a wonderful week.